Welcome back to Silent Hill. I wanted to talk about one of the terrifying bullies which roam my favourite town. And no, I am not talking about the person who set up the piano puzzle. I am of course talking about the Grey Children. Grey Children are the very first monster we encounter in the series. They are small childlike creatures that have a green greyish skin tone, who often wield long knives. They also have a large opening for a mouth, a pressed down skull with various slits and grooves where their eyes should be. These creatures originally appear in the opening nightmare sequence of Silent Hill, where Harry loses his daughter Cheryl. Harry wanders down this dark alleyway and soon discovers a skin hanging corpse. He is then surrounded by the Grey Children who will inevitably carry out their attack. The Grey Children walk fast and more often than not attack in groups, surrounding their target quickly with their freakishly scaly and slim arms. They leap and grab the victim's legs, pinning them down as they closely attack and laugh. The Grey Children reappear later in Harry's journey as he continues his search for Cheryl at Midwich Elementary School, where the Grey Children are most prominent and can be found roaming the dark corridors and beneath the obstructing desks and chairs of the classrooms. It makes sense for children to be found in a school, but why are these children so demonic and aggressive towards Harry, often working together to bully him into the darkest corners of the school? Grey Children are present in Silent Hill's Otherworld as a manifestation of the kids that used to bully Alyssa Gillespie during her school days. Silent Hill contains many manifestations from her nightmares and trauma, and so it's no surprise that in a town that reflects her very mind, there are creatures that represent her helpless school days. Let's take a look at some of the signs of Alyssa's bullying. In Silent Hill 3, we can find one of the teacher's notebooks which shares concerns for Alyssa. There's a girl named Alyssa in my class. If your memory is any good, you may remember her. She's the one that I said they call a witch. Harry can find more obvious signs of Alyssa's bullying within the classroom itself, like her school desk which has been sharply engraved with the words Go home, thief, and drop dead. Harry can also discover Alyssa's past cries as he searches the school's bathroom. <laughs> to Alyssa, she had to face relentless torment from bullies who would group together and isolating her in the classrooms. And this is why they appear within her Nightmare of Silent Hill's Otherworld as these coordinated and annoying creatures, simply representing the bullying that Alyssa experienced. This is how Harry must feel when he is cornered by many of the Grey Children who continue their relentless assault and simply laugh at his pain. <laughs> The school isn't the only place that Harry can be attacked by these demon children. The sewers of Silent Hill contain a monster known as the Stalker, which is a ghost variant of the Grey Children. They have the exact same attacks and strategy, but they are also invisible, which makes tackling these nightmarish toddlers even more challenging. The Stalker is not just a variant of the Grey Children, but they are also a matured form of the Larval Stalker. Larval meaning the most basic, original form of something, especially when you're talking about insects. But these aren't pests. Larval stalkers are invisible and haunting children who innocently wander the school and lakeside amusement park, blindly looking for their guardian as they wander in the other world. Harry might mistake the larval stalker as a violent creature, considering it will cause his radio to emit static, indicating to him that danger is nearby. However, they are harmless and simply roam around making a squeaking noise before slowly disappearing, either within Harry's flashlight radius or into the darkness entirely. In the beta version of Silent Hill, the larval stalker had an obvious skin texture and could also be attacked, but the developers felt it was unnecessary to be able to kill a non-resistant infant. <laughs> The transparent appearance of stalkers and larval stalkers may further represent Alyssa's horrific school life. Their invisibility could reflect the years of isolation and seclusion that she experienced. That's all there really is to say about the larval stalker, aside from the fact that if you were to use Agliophotus on the first larval stalker of the amusement park, you can actually break the game.
Sybil. Wake up. Snap out of it. If the Grey Children don't appear during your playthrough and you feel like you have avoided this enemy, you are most likely playing either the European or Japanese version of Silent Hill. These copies didn't have the Grey Children, as these monsters were considered too similar to actual children. Instead, they are replaced by Mumblers, a similar creature that can always be found in Annie's Bar and the sewers of Silent Hill. I won't go into too much detail about the Mumblers in this video, as they may warrant their own episode. All you need to know in this video is that their attack style is very similar to the Grey Children, and so they make a good replacement for the European and Japanese copies of Silent Hill. I hope you enjoyed this short lore video on the Grey Children. Let me know in the comments what you think of these frightening creatures, and what monster you would like me to explore next. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time in Silent Hill.